Hi, this is Coach Pomai. Welcome to ICE Podcast number 19. In this podcast, we talk about overcoming adversity, trust, and the role that planning and preparation played in the story of Brady Tennell's journey to win the 2018 U.S. National Ladies Championship and a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. Brady was the 2015 junior champion. Three months later, a back injury sidelined her for much of the next season. Many people believe that obstacles and challenges just get in their way. They keep them from reaching their goals as quickly as they want to. In reality, adversity can make you stronger. Overcoming obstacles can make you more confident and flexible in your mindset. Dealing with obstacles allow you to learn how to stop dwelling in the past and move forward. Remember that there are always choices. You can give up or you can find your way through. Brady Tennell could have given up. Last season, her best score was topped by 48 other skaters in the world, including seven U.S. skaters. She was 14 points lower than the next highest U.S. woman. She has two highest total scores by a U.S. woman this season, 10 points above the second best U.S. woman. She also won a bronze at her Grand Prix event. Now she's a national champion. She's a great example of having a plan and sticking to it. Skaters, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. That's irrelevant. You need to keep on track. If you have a well-designed plan, you must trust it. Stick with it. Brady Tennell did, and she's going to the Olympics four years sooner than their plan. The last thing I wanted to talk about was preparation. Interviews with her coach talk about how she trains like she competes. Many of the results this year were not a surprise because that's the way she always practices. If you can skate every day with the mindset, the focus, and the intensity of competition, you'd be unstoppable. Make sure to train for consistency. Pay attention to your technique. Make sure that you're doing it right. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Then, when you're consistent, make sure that you train for flexibility in all circumstances. Take advantage of your competition simulations and exhibitions. Instead of treating them as exercises, put that pressure on yourself. Recreate the high level pressure that you feel when you're going into competition. The more preparation, the better. Thanks for listening. Please do me a favor and share this if you find it helpful. If you want to learn more, you can find us at icementalgame.com or like our page on Facebook at icementalgame. Until next time, this is Coach Pomai saying aloha and happy skating.